Last week, we launched day one of the 2019 TXTT Championship onto Belton Lake. By day's end, Trey Gross and Charles White had sacked up 1589 for second place, but it was BJ Carruthers and Thomas Wells crushing the field with better than 23 pounds. Sitting in first, pretty excited about it. We just gotta go catch them today though. It's the final day of the season. There's more than $120,000 up for grabs. It's championship time, right here on the Texas Team Trail, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you an official time check. It's 542, 5.42. Well, it was pretty tough yesterday. We ended up with uh, two fish for five and a half, five point seven pounds. I don't know where that put us in the standings. Didn't think we were close. Um, we have uh, encountered a lot of problems with the zebra mussels, so we're going to approach it today with a little bit heavier line. Uh, hopefully, the fish are grouped back up. The falling water, I think, has hurt us more than anything. We're going to change it up and uh, try to find a deep bite. A shallow bite didn't work for us, so. We're gonna change it up day two and see what we can do. Man, we're in a uh, second place. We're the, the guys that are leading had 23 pounds. We had 15, 80 something. We we got to make up some ground and hopefully they stumble. But uh, man, we we don't know if we beat up our fish or not. We we uh, we think we have a few left today. But the big ones are hard to come by. We've got 116 teams on hand, fishing for a total purse worth $121,000, including a brand new boat motor package for first and second place. There's also $9,000 in angler advantage and 11.5 in contingency money. Also in play is the Lucas Oil Team of the Year race. Jeff Reynolds and Randall Bruce have the lead, but they struggled on day one, leaving the door wide open for the rest of the field. You know, I mean, really, honestly, if we could catch 15 pounds tomorrow, I feel like we'd have a shot. But there's a couple teams that are pretty close behind us, and they may catch 20 pounds tomorrow. And if they do, you know, hats off to them. You can't, all we can do is what we can do. Control what we can do. What everybody else does, that's up to them. But our goal is still to win this tournament. That's our goal going into every one. But I'm not too sure about this one. <laughs> Getting out on the water, we've got cameras on each of the top three. We'll start our championship coverage with a third place team of Kenneth Cummins and Tim Dixon. Good one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a better fit. Oh yeah, better work. Easy baby, easy baby. We did the same thing that we were doing yesterday and we were catching them on a, a, a XD5 and XD6. We were bumping the crankbaits off of the rocks the whole time. And pull it so right. You like hit the rocks and when you hit the rocks, they, they would just suck it in and take off with it. That's a good start right there. That's a good start. Them live wheels going, Ken. Okay. Moving on, this is BJ Carruthers and Thomas Wells. With a late draw this morning, they're just now getting into position. My goal today is uh, if we can catch 10 to 12 pounds in the morning, um, and then go fish some deeper stuff today, this afternoon, and catch, you know, another four, five, six pounder. I think uh, 13 to 14, I'm hoping, I think that would be enough. Starting here on day one, they sacked up the bulk of their weight early, but things seem different this morning. It's quiet, too quiet. Uh, it's slow. It should be hot and heavy right now, and it's not happening, so I don't know how long we're gonna stay here. We're gonna. We're gonna probably make a move here in a little bit. We're gonna give it a little time, see if we can catch some fish, but yesterday it was fast and furious. I mean, it was right out the gate, so that's not happening this morning. Just kind of concerning. Back on Cummins and Dixon. They left these Got fish it. early yesterday. If it keeps, this will be number I'm two. I'm going to leave mine out there to keep it out of the way. It's way out there. 
Okay, it's not Take real time. big. I just got to get my keep my line away from you. Come on, that. Stay down. It's not real big. Get the net. Get the net. Coming up, coming. That's that red big. We'll keep that. You have to measure that one. Cummins and Dixon are off to a quick start this morning. With two in the live well, they're closing the gap on the leaders. Stay with us. Coming up, tournament coverage continues from Belton Lake in the 2019 Texas Team Trail Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. There he is. Oh, I got him. The Texas Team Trail is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By Lucas Oil, title sponsor of our Angler of the Year program. And by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. We're about an hour north of Austin on Belton Lake in Central Texas for the 2019 Texas Team Trail Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. We'll pick things up with the third place team of Kenneth Cummins and Tim Dixon. After sacking up 15 pounds on day one, they got right back to business. Bouncing crankbaits on a deep ledge, they've picked up two for close to six pounds. Hooked up again, Tim makes the scoop on fish number three. Trey Gross and Charles White had started the morning in second. Running marinas, they're throwing oh. soft plastics under docks and along the cables. But the zebra good. mussels present an added challenge. Oh. Oh. That one had a big head shake. That was a good fish. <laughs> one by one, they're building a limit, even if it is a small one. Yeah, he touches. Hard to get a bite. We broke off several. We're just 50-50 in these marinas right now, but there are some big fish in here. We can get them to bite. Moving on, we're back with Carruthers and Wells, your day oh, one leaders. They're just just popping it right at the top. They're almost like at the tops of those. As soon as you slide it up the top of them lay downs there. Okay. Man. Oop. Oop. Oh, get by and get another bait. Got him? Yep. That's a good one too. Good one? Yeah. Oh yeah, big one. I got him right here. Yeah! Boom! Oh, that's what you gotta do right there. Oh, there's some fish right there right now. That'll help the cause, won't it? We found these fish Thursday, and Boom. we never messed with it. We didn't even come over here yesterday. Um, we caught a pretty decent one Thursday afternoon, practice day, 
Um, and then we shook some off. So kind of saved it for today and I'm glad it's working out. Back on Gross and Whited. Broke rod and everything, baby. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Barely hooked. Uh, we had fish down this yesterday and uh, had a, a bite that felt about like that one, about a five or five and a half pounder. Uh, I broke off yesterday, so we came back and uh, just threw right down the same spot. Same and, spot. And uh, she bit it. So. Different story. Yeah. We finally got one in today. That we've hooked, a, I think we've hooked one or two that size today. We just didn't get them in. Oh yeah. Better keep. That'll work. Better keep, I think. That'll work. Fishing just outside the marina, we'll check back with Cummins and Dixon. I don't know. Nope. Nope. A swimmer. Not what we're looking for. But, it's a fish. Got it. Oh. No. I thought you were going to flip them. No. We've still got two fish, so we've got to catch a couple more keepers. Uh, so we're going to move around a little bit and uh, see if we can catch a couple more. Try to get a limit. Net. Net. Pretty good. Let me get around here. Cold. Take my rod, I'll call him. <laughs> God, your drag. You got him? Yep. That's half mine. <laughs> Hit that trolling motor, dude. Get them. That's a really good one. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. That one's a little chunkier. Oh, now the fun starts. Oh, we just lost eight ounces. Crappie? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's six ounces we just lost. The Texas Team Trail would like to give a big thanks to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. If you find yourself in the market for tackle, electronics, rain gear, or maybe even a new boat, please support those that help support the TXTT. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. The Texas Team Trail presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Garmin Electronics. Fight the fish, not your fish finder. By Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And by Amphibia Sunglasses, performance floating eye gear. Welcome back to championship coverage from Belton Lake. It's day two, and we've got 115 teams chasing BJ Carruthers and Thomas Wells. After a rough start, they regrouped. Closing in on midday, they've got yeah! four. I mean, it could be down in the dumps for two hours and then 
you know, just have a quick little flurry like that and, you know, it builds your confidence right back up. You're right back in the game. Back on Trey Gross and Charles Whited. With the limit of the boat, they're sticking with the marina, throwing flukes in clear water. There he comes, here he comes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zebra oh. mussels, we got them that time. <laughs> Dude, I thought that one was gone. Put him in that big side. Running a similar pattern, Carruthers and Wells are hooked up. If it keeps, that will be number five. Ow. Had me in some rush. <laughs> we got five in the live woods. 11.52. Um, we got one 14 incher in there we need to get rid of, but we've got three good ones. Um, and we got a 15 incher and a 14 incher. So if we get rid of the 14 incher for a 15 incher. I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Got it. What do you think? It might be a pretty good fish. Maybe. I don't know. He don't. Now he don't. He might have been in a tree. But, oh yeah. Let's keep it. Oh, oh man, look at this. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. I didn't know your crankbait was hanging over the side. Way to go, partner. That's I... good TV right there, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nope. Oh. Nope. 13 and 3 quarters. Mm. It's a fish, though. With the clock ticking, we'll check back on Whited and Gross. Good call. Good job. Well, we've, we've called several more times. We got two really nice fish. Um, like I said, our bite's been later in the day. So we need, we need one more nice fish, and uh, I think we would be We've, we've done what we needed to do for on our part, you know. The guys that were leading it had a huge lead. At least they're gonna have to catch them today. Still got five. Uh, hadn't cold. Still got that 14 inch we need to get rid of. Um, it's 147, so we've got very limited time to get this done. So we're gonna keep moving until about two o'clock and then we're gonna go ahead and go on in. <clears throat> With close to 15 pounds in the live well, unofficially, Carruthers and Wells did what they set out to do. Now, we'll take it to weigh in. The schedule's out for the 2020 season. And we hope to see you on the water. For all the details, look us up at texasteamtrail.com. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but will provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil. It works. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down The Texas Team Trail is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Triton Boats, we take America fishing. And by Lawrence. Find, navigate, dominate. Well, it's been a challenging couple of days here on Belton Lake. High water, high skies, and a lot of fishing pressure have made for a tough bite. But when you show up at a Texas Team Trail event, you can count on one thing. Somebody's always going to catch them.
Taking a look at the prize structure, there's $121,000 on the line, including a Ranger Mercury package for the top two teams. For the complete breakdown, head on over to texasteamtrail.com. Heading to the scales, Kenneth Cummins and Tim Dixon started the day in third. Though they struggled, coming in one fish short of a limit, they'll finish the tournament in ninth. It never happened for us. We were lucky to get the ones that we got this morning off that same spot. We kept going back to it, but it just never, ever paid off for us. So uh, we feel fortunate to get the four that we got. Looking in on the top five, Lee Batson and John Fleming finished out the week with 2765, earning $1,848 for their efforts. Matt Cannon and Jared Siegler locked up fourth with 2780. Add in the contingency bonuses, and they'll take home $2,479. Adrian and Daniel Barnes were favored to be one of the top teams this week, and they didn't disappoint. With a two-day total of 3042, they'll pick up $2,650 for third place. It was a good time, a uh, great, great tournament circuit. You guys do an excellent job. Love Mike, he does an excellent job. Uh, really strong competition. You know, everybody that fishes this thing is, is uh, just really stout. So overall, it was a good, good weekend for us. Up next, Trey Gross and Charles Whited. Looks to me like they're definitely gonna take over the lead. We're looking for 9.02 to take the lead. Let's see what we got. 18.22 today, your new tournament leaders. And now we're down to the final team. B.J. Carruthers and yep, Thomas Wells. Find out, guys. Y'all get up here where you can see the weight'll display up here. This is B.J. Carruthers and Thomas Wells with a five bass limit. We're looking for 1027. We got it. 15 pounds even today. Your champions. Texas Team Trail presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Hey, it was a it was a good it was a good weekend. I mean that. That first day is just, that's the biggest bag I've ever caught on belt ever. And to do it, do it in a championship, it's just unbelievable. I'd like to thank Mary and Cliff Brown at Texas Boat World for taking care of us uh, anytime we need it on the boats. And uh, I'd like to thank Judy and Tim Renault for power tackle rods. And there you have it. BJ Carruthers and Thomas Wells are your 2019 Texas Team Trail champions. Trey Gross and Charles Whiten finished second. Not only do both of those teams take home a boat, but they also qualify for Triton upgrades through the sponsor contingency program. And we got a boat. I mean, it, another another check, you yeah. know, you know, and uh, we got to upgrade because I run a brand new Triton, so we got to upgrade on the boat. I don't know exactly what we got, but hey, a boat's a boat. <laughs> no doubt. We we fished this circuit, you know, for this championship. You know, that's we fished Travis and Rayburn and paid our money and. We were like, man, we got to cash a check to get some money back, because you know. <laughs> but it worked out. It's uh, they they do an awesome job, and Texas Team Trail is one of the best circuits out there. And finally, checking the results of the Lucas Oil Team of the Year, Jeff Reynolds and Randall Bruce lock up one of the most prestigious titles in tournament fishing, edging out the Barnes brothers by just one point. Man, this was a great accomplishment for us to win Team of the Year this year, but. Uh, you know, you can't do it without sponsors. Bass Pro, Cabela's, Garmin. Um, I, I mean, without support, you know, it, it's just hard to keep going up and down the road. And I mean, my hat's off to them. I appreciate them very much. And, and I mean, what a tournament. I mean, you know, come down to ounces, uh, come down to hundreds of ounces and one point to win team of the year. But, hey, against this group of guys, you're proud to win whatever it takes. And, uh, you know, to, to pull this off, it, it means a lot. And that wraps up another season of the Texas Team Trail, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. For schedules, registration, and contingency information, look us up anytime at texasteamtrail.com. It takes brains and brawn out here, your wits and know-how, and the rugged performance of the Nitro ZV-18 and the Nitro ZV-21. These two groundbreaking deep Vs and the relentless anglers who run them are turning heads and catching fish on the tournament trail. See how the Nitro ZV series is winning on northern waters. Nitro boats, champions aren't born, they're made. You know a good value when you see it. 
but it's performance that matters on the water. You get both with Elite TI2. Popular premium features and new innovative sonar technology. See the highest detailed images of fish and structure with active imaging. Share sonar, waypoints, and routes wirelessly between Elite TI2 displays. Elite TI2, new from Lowrance. TRX, the bold new family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX, huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, extreme Triton performance. TRX, the boat for back-to-back -back classic champions, ready to rocket you to the winner's circle. TRX, with Triton, having it all has never been so easy.